All right, today we're going to learn about the has attribute built in function in Python 3. So let's take a quick look at the docs. Has attribute has two arguments, object and name, and that name needs to be in string format. The result is either going to be true or false. So you can think of has attribute as returning a, a Boolean. So I created a class for us. This is our Jeep and we have two attributes, HP and model. And what we're going to do and check if this Jeep has attribute HP. So we can run that and you're going to see that, of course, that's true. The Jeep does have attribute HP. Now, if I try to check for attribute that's not there, like wheels or something, uh, we can print that out and see that that's falsely. The Jeep does not have that attribute. Another thing I want to show you guys is when we wrap type around has attribute to show you that this is a true Boolean situation. So we are returning the uh, class Boolean. So it's not a string that says true or something. It really is uh, true false. I also want to show you that um, has attribute is going to return a truthy value, even if the value that we're pointing to is false. So of course, you know, we print uh, this HP has attribute and it's going to be true. And if we switch this to a falsy value, like say none, that's still going to be true. Another one might be empty list. Um, that's still going to be true. One last thing I want to show you is how has attribute is different than just doing a bool. Um, so if we did uh, Jeep, Jeep dot HP here, um, this and you know, we'll comment out our has attribute, that's going to return false, right? And if you did it, you know, back with the old 300 horsepower, that's going to return true. So that changes based on whether you know, the value is truthy or falsy. But with our has attribute and to make this clear, you know, we'll have a, have a little print statement. Do that again for the bool. Bool equals. You're going to see first that bool is true and has attribute is true. You know, this is a truthy value. And if we switch this to say zero, run this again, you're going to see bool equals false but has attribute is still true. So has attribute, the Boolean is based on if the attribute even exists, and then bool is gonna check if the value of that attribute is truthy or falsy. So two different outcomes.